Thank you for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. I want to show you the difference in some of the models on how far south some of the snow will get. Now, the snowpack is right in here. Yesterday I was mentioning, I look at the models, but I don't just look at that. I look at what's going on in the environment, and it was showing uh, some snow far into the south, and I was mentioning how it wouldn't be quite as far south. Now the models are coming into that line of thinking a bit. This here is looking out in time. This here is by the time we get into next Friday, so over a week from from now, yes, some snow will be a potential in some of the southern states of the United States. So, of course, across Canada, much of the United States, and then back into the southern end of parts of the United States, but not as far south as the models were showing yesterday. And that's that's what I was mentioning. And you can see it here. They backed off a little bit. It does show the chance of snow, parts of Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama, back through northern Georgia and then even back through parts of the Carolinas. But yesterday, if you remember, in the video I showed you, the model was showing the snow even more to the south and throughout much of Texas. And I was mentioning, while that was a possibility, it would be more likely to the north, and now the models are starting to kind of feel that. So yes, that chance of some southern snow, but not super deep into the uh, south, uh, uh, as far to the south. I like to keep everything in perspective and just let you know what I'm seeing out there as far as what's going on. Now, we have two systems that we're watching. So here we are in the Caribbean, this energy again coming right out of the Pacific. You see it there. Look at that cloud cover just kind of streaming across. And then this energy here coming out of Canada, that is going to zoom down and combine. All of this will feed in for our first front that will work through for some of us as we get into the upcoming weekend. You see some of this, uh, this system coming out of Canada right here. And then this energy coming out of Mexico here. And with it, that stream of rain. Now, what is not going to stop over the next several weeks is this southern pattern. Right now, we have some of that snow over toward the Great Lakes, but we get this rain again stretching across the uh, southern United States. This southern pattern is going to continue. It's going to be storm system after storm system in the deep south of the United States and the northern Caribbean. That means a very active pattern as we work our way into next month. You see some of the cloud cover right up through parts of Florida, back through the northern Bahamas. Later in the day, we'll start to get a few spotty showers around. I want to show you that in a moment across parts of the Caribbean. Right now, we have one front that is draped across the northern Caribbean. Here's the spot we're going to be watching. This will be the same thing over the next several weeks. It's going to continue. This pattern won't be stopping. Here's that front right here, northern Caribbean. Let me know if you're waking up to some uh, cooler uh, mornings in some spots. We've had that, but the energy up here in Canada will eventually move across and then you see it here. This is system number one. So we get that rain that works in for some snow on the north side and then this front will start to work into the northern Caribbean. With that, we're going to see with this front some Arctic air moving down. We already have it in Canada. I'll show you that in a moment and I'll show you how far south that Arctic air gets. It's going to be some of the coldest weather some of us have seen this winter so far. Then by the time we get into Sunday, I'll zoom down to the Atlantic region of Canada in just a second. There's the front stretching through Florida, the Bahamas, Cuba, getting closer to the Cayman Islands and Jamaica. Cold air back behind it. There could even be a little bit of snow parts of the mid-Atlantic of the United States just as that cold air kind of catches up with some of that rain. And then let's work deeper in time. So this is by Tuesday. Uh, so we're looking several days out in time. But you see how far south that uh, front gets. So northern Bahamas, by the time we get into next week, a better chance of rain. Also into Cuba. And then once again, that pattern that just won't stop. Watch how this rain builds right in through here near the Bay of Campeche. Gulf of Mexico. We're going to see this once again. So let's go out in time further here. This is as we work our way into uh, Wednesday. So almost a week from now and you see it, the first signs of the next front. I mentioned yesterday the models were showing some of that snow across the Dallas area. They backed off on that looking more like rain, which I was mentioning yesterday. So here's that front though that gets all the way down right near Jamaica and Haiti once we work our way into next week. As we keep an eye on that, here comes that next system. Now, this is where we may see a little bit of snow getting into the uh, southern parts of the United States, not super deep to the south, but this is that next system. 
this here is a week from now. So it's going to be this, it almost feels like an El Nino pattern with these systems coming out of the uh, Gulf of Mexico, one after another. So this is by the 23rd, next Thursday, and then looking ahead, there could even be some severe weather with this on the tail end of it. Watching this front again, look at that, moving right near Belize, the Yucatan Peninsula, Mexico, Cuba, Florida, uh, the Bahamas, then eventually approaching Bermuda. There's some of the snow on the backside of this, parts of uh, New England, and then back toward the Atlantic region into Canada and once again deeper into next week we get another shot of some cooler weather in the uh, Caribbean and then much colder weather up to the north and then after that system leaves we're going to see about two to three more systems back behind it now watching the cold air this is key to see how far south some of that snow gets this yellow shading in here is telling me where this front is but quickly back behind it across central america we get more of that southerly flow that's that moisture feed that allows those non-stop storm systems to just develop coming right out of the pacific but looking at the cold air here's the arctic air this kind of shading right in here and you see how it zooms down across, of course, Canada. And then throughout much of the northern United States, this is that cold shot behind first system, the first system that works in as we get into the weekend. So watching this Arctic air that moves in for some as we work our way into early next week. And then as we get deeper into next week, yes, there will be some cold air across the uh, southern parts of the United States, but that cold air won't be as far to the south. And that's why I was mentioning yesterday, I thought the models were a little bit off with showing how far south the snow was going to get. Arctic air is over toward uh, Ontario and uh, Quebec. There will be cold air, so we'll keep an eye on that. But this will just be something we'll fine tune together as we go forward and we'll see how far south these fronts are getting. Now here's the tail end of one front. Here's Puerto Rico, U.S., British Virgin Islands. At ahead of it, there are a couple of those spotty showers, St. Lucia, Barbados, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Grenada, Trinidad. We may get a few, even Dominica today. Not as much for us in Jamaica. We're looking overall uh, pretty nice. Going out in time here, this is by tomorrow. You see some of those hit or miss showers uh, that will be around. We may get one or two over toward uh, Puerto Rico, uh, Dominican Republic. We get, may get one or two on the north side. Turks and Caicos, we've had some showers. And then we'll be watching out for the front the first system that starts to work in going out in time here. This is by Saturday. This is Saturday afternoon and you see some of the rain that's building right in through here. That's that first front. So I'll be monitoring as we get into next week just how close this front will get at least in our northern sections. We will get some cooler weather, some colder nights ahead for Cuba, for example, as we work our way into uh, next week with that next front moving in. Now zooming to the north, watching how close that snow has been getting to the Avalon Peninsula as expected, most of it just to the east. But we've been seeing some of those snow showers, uh, parts of the Great Lakes, over toward Quebec. We may get a few snow showers today, maybe some flurries, snow flurries, uh, parts of New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island, over toward uh, Newfoundland. And then as we work our way into tomorrow, you see that snow here, a little bit of rain here. This is that first front. Watch how it combines. Watch right here. So this is tomorrow afternoon. And then here, look at that. Look at that moisture just building, kind of feeding in. And then as we work our way into Saturday, here's that front that will move across parts of eastern Canada down toward uh, the United States and the Bahamas and then working off the east coast of the United States. This here is by Sunday. We may get a little bit of snow on the back side of this. Rain initially, for example, later in the day on a Sunday in Newfoundland as we work our way into Sunday night. That cold air may catch up and bring that chance of rain. And then watching Bermuda as these systems move by one after another, we get those shots of rain. Now those seas are going to be building with this first front. A little bit choppy today. Gulf of Mexico over toward the Caribbean and the Atlantic waters. Not as much as we work our way into tomorrow. This is our Friday. Here's meters, here's feet to keep everyone covered. But this is Saturday as we get deeper into the weekend and that next front arrives. Look at Sunday. Those elevated seas start to pick up and then especially next week, we're going to see those uh, seas building in the Gulf of Mexico about two to three meters. So we're looking at about seven maybe about nine feet in some spots. And of course, those Atlantic waters, those seas are going to be higher. As far as rain goes, not super high totals. We may get a few showers in the Bahamas. We had some uh, yesterday in parts of the uh, Turks and Caicos. I mentioned the Northern Dominican Republic, better chance of rain, Jamaica, Cayman Islands. We're looking at a low chance of rain. So totals would be on the low side, but we may squeak out 10, maybe 25 millimeters of rain in parts of the uh, Northern uh, DR, Puerto Rico, Anguilla, St. Bart's, Antigua, Barbuda, 
uh, St. Martin. I mentioned that front that is around, just that old front could brush us by a shower, but as far as the coloring goes, the brighter colors not really popping up. We may get a touch more. I mentioned Barbados south through Trinidad, where we could see a few more hit or miss showers the next few days. Northern Guyana, but the rain chance Guyana, Suriname, even northern Venezuela, it's not very high. We could see one or two showers, though, passing by. I'll show that forecast for the ABC Islands in just a second. Scattered showers. We may get a bit more Costa Rica, Panama. We may get a few spots that approach about an inch or more of some rain. Mexico City to the north, generally the dry conditions, but you see that rain building in the Gulf of Mexico. That's how we're going to see. That's kind of uh, indicative of the next several systems we're going to see. So you see the rain chance, not very high for us in Jamaica. A lot of sunshine, just about a 20% chance of a shower, 10 to 20% chance across the Cayman Islands. Now, as we work our way back toward Trinidad and Tobago, a little bit more isolated to scattered showers. We may get a couple around 50% chance today, 30% chance tomorrow, 40% chance on Saturday. We do that again in Barbados, kind of some hit or miss passing showers will be possible. St. Lucia, 40% chance the next two days as we work our way into a Saturday. Could see about a 50% chance and seeing that 40% chance tomorrow and Saturday right across us in Jamaica. We get back through St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Isolated shower today, a little bit more spotty on Saturday. Saturday about a 50% chance of a shower, at least brushing by some of our islands. Martinique, 30 to 40% chance. We swing back through Dominica tomorrow and Saturday, a 40% chance of a shower. 30 to 40% chance will hold into the upcoming weekend right across Guadalupe. Antigua, Barbuda with that front nearby today, we may see a shower, but the rain chance tomorrow and Saturday at about 30%. We do that again, St. Kitts, Nevis, and Montserrat, 40% chance today, 30% chance tomorrow. Rain chance today in Anguilla and St. Bart's, just a 20% chance, 30% chance tomorrow and Saturday, 20 to 30% chance through the weekend, St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia. And hold at that isolated 30% chance right through uh, Puerto Rico, and we may see one or two showers around parts of the U.S. and British Virgin Islands. Rain chance today in the Bahamas, only 20%. It stays relatively low, but these fronts could give us a shower or two. Turks and Caicos, the rain chance has gone down, and we may get one or two showers uh, around. We had some, uh, not last night, but the uh, night before in some spots. Northern sections of the DR, that's where we could see a couple showers. So get back toward Haiti, though, we're mainly dry. Rain chance could see a few uh, showers around in Belize today, about a 50% chance, but it goes down the next few days, just a 20% chance of a shower on uh, Saturday. Now, as we work our way through Aruba, Carousel and Bonaire, rain chance about 30%. So an isolated shower chance the next few days, that easterly flow on the south side of the front could give us a shower. Let me know in the comments, but we get back through Guyana, Suriname, we're generally on the dry side the next few days. That rain chance is not high into the upcoming weekend. Keep an eye on the fronts in Cuba, some colder nights will be ahead. We'll be highlighting uh, that further. 30 to 40% chance of rain. Costa Rica, Panama does pick up a little bit on Saturday. 50% chance, 30 to 40% chance of the next two days in Nicaragua and holding at a 40% chance today in Honduras, but it goes down on Saturday. We're mainly dry, mainly dry conditions in Guatemala and El Salvador the next uh, few days. 20% chance in Mexico City, very low. 30% chance across the Yucatan Penis, uh, Peninsula. May see a shower in Merida, even on the flip side, the east side over toward uh, Cancun. Northern Colombia, generally dry, and a 20 to 30% chance of a very isolated shower in northern Venezuela. But watching these fronts passing by, you see how we could have one dry day, then we could get some rain, and then another dry day, then another shot of rain right across Bermuda. It stays active. Pattern not stopping. So tracking two big winter storms, that first front starting to build the next couple of days. That'll move to the east as we go throughout the weekend. That second one, that's the one that could bring cold and snow a little bit more down to the south, and that's what I'll be tracking together. We'll be tracking together as we go forward. So thank you for taking the time to subscribe to this channel and have a wonderful rest of your day.